Gail Peterson from the Golf Learning Center at Sea Island, and welcome to Golfers MD. Our topic today is on how to pump up or power up your golf swing. And there are actually power sources during the motion of the swing. Solidness of contact is really underrated. If we hit solid shots, we'll definitely get more distance. But also if we load up, the backswing is a loading process, and we want to load up the speed producers needed to hit long straight shots. So at address, my setup has an influence on it, but during the motion of the swing, there are three power sources. One is my upper body coils against the lower, and I kind of load my right leg, and then I shift and unwind into my left leg. Another power source is the width and length of the swing, but I never want my left arm really going back any further than 11 o'clock. And us women are so flexible that a lot of times we can get our swing too long and out of control. So 11 o'clock would be the maximum length of my left arm. And then the third is what I'm going to really pay more attention to today in this segment. And that is how we load the wrist going back. And as you see, I put a wiffle ball on this shaft. And as I take this club back, the wiffle ball slides to the bottom of the grip. And then as I come down, it stays stored in the grip, and then it explodes through impact all the way to the finish. So the process is a, is a load, a store, and an explode. If you get that wiffle ball to slide down and you keep it above your hands, at least to hip high, you'll still maintain power and angles. It's called lag, and you'll just knock the cover off the golf ball.